In this video, we're going to take a uh, quick uh, look at some of the features at Icy Strait Point in Alaska. Cheryl and I had uh, just finished a whale watching excursion at Icy Strait Point, and we're going to uh, head up uh, toward the, the main area to do the zip line. Right now, she's using her manual wheelchair, and I'm pushing. Huh? You're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. It's a long ways. Hey, Cheryl. Don't even ask me after San Pedro. No. <laughs> Yeah, you know, now that ramp there would be. Oh cheap. my word! We were using the manual wheelchair because uh, we reserved our whale watching excursion at the last minute, and so the uh, boat we were assigned to was not fully accessible. So it was easier to for her to step onto the boat and then move the wheelchair on the boat. Uh, Icy Strait Point, and in fact, all of Alaska is one of those places that I would recommend if you don't have a power chair of some kind that you reserve one and, and rent one because so much of Alaska is up and downhill. You can see right here this uh, hill was pretty straight. I wasn't walking quite this fast. The, the video was speeded up. And as we come around the corner we're going to move off on to uh, some uh, gravel and the manual wheelchair was not a lot of fun on the gravel. After we did the zip line uh, our next stop would be to get the scooter from the ship and start to use that. And you'll see her in the scooter in a little while. You can listen to some of the dialogue here. Yeah, the gravel is not so friendly with the wheelchair. Not so friendly on foot either. Yeah, we went whale watching. It was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. How are you doing? Doing good. One thing I, uh, I'll mention mm -hmm. uh, from an accessibility standpoint. Yes. In a scooter, this wouldn't be bad. Yep. On wheelchairs, it's terrible. It is yeah. terrible. Absolutely. And that's um, that's something that's on our list. We're looking at getting some off-road wheelchairs, and we we do, well in general, like over on the other dock, we do have the care cart. The, the electric vehicle that goes back and forth between yeah. the docks and this. The departure you got on here was Zip Rider. Uh -huh. So they, they dropped off here so that the Zip Rider leaves them right there. Okay. So that they bridge that gap. So generally that departure isn't one that we would have accessibility okay. issues on. They would have been dropped back over there and the care cart would have been available. Okay. So I, I needed to make room for you and that's where I had room. Oh, no, that's fine. So, we appreciate it. No, so, it, was, it was great. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And you know, and the, the gondolas, they'll, uh, you can ask and they'll slow them down. They can flip the seats up and you can wheel right in and out. And uh, w let me get you a couple of uh, bands so you can go on the sky glider to the top of the mountain. Yeah. When you're at the top up there, you can see Mount Fairweather, which is actually part of it's in Canada. So you can see Canada that direction and you can see Canada that direction. Wow. It, like 90, 98 miles that way and I think it's 70 miles that way. You can see the entire Juno wow. ice field today. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll grab you a couple wristbands for that. Okay. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll meet you over there. That was whale watching. Wonderful. We got a lot of video and everything. Yeah. It's really nice out there, isn't it? And yeah, and if somebody could, could is accessible. I love the boat, the big windows. And They're beautiful boats. It was very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, those boats have, are designed the thresholds are kind of the, the problem on those. Yeah. The ships are getting bigger and bigger. Yes. More and more people. Yes, they are. We're going to take a, a quick look at the map of the uh, Huna uh, Icy Strait Point port area. Uh, we're on the far side of the peninsula from where our ship was docked. We're over here because we're getting ready to get on the gondola and get headed up to, to ride the zip line. That's another video and it'll be linked up above. Cheryl was not a fan of the gondola. This one you know, climbs a fairly steep hill, but the other gondola stays fairly low and just transports you from one side of the peninsula to the other, which makes getting back and forth very easy because there are things to do in this area and there are also things to do in the other area. I'll let you listen to the music for a minute.
In the building behind Cheryl's where they have all of the uh, tour operations, so if you're reserving a tour, that's where you'd go. Also, uh, you can see the gondola. This the gondola is the one that goes between the two sides of the island. doesn't get very high. In this area, there's this area by the fire where you can sit. There is a bar right there. It's the Duck Point Bar. And then ahead, there are some accessible restrooms. We're headed to the down the island a ways toward Huna. And what we're going to do is we're going to go buy a, some places to eat. We're going to see a statue of a breaching whale. And on a different day, they usually have the water running by this statue. It's actually part of a fountain. And when that is running, it looks like you're next to a whale that's breaching. Uh, today we didn't have any water, but it is a very interesting statue. You can see it ahead of Cheryl there. And we did uh, change to the scooter, and which is works really well in Icy Straight Point. Now this area we're passing on the left is where you can get some seafood. It's called the Oyster Shack, and that's also where they do the seafood boil. Nice shade trees around it. And as you can see, it is just an absolutely gorgeous day uh, in Icy Strait Point. We had really clear weather. As was mentioned earlier, you can see Canada in two different directions uh, from the top of the mountain there. This boardwalk goes by some houses that are lived in by residents that work here on the island. And then uh, in the distance up ahead, you can see the area around the cannery and uh, where the crab restaurant is. So we're going to speed it up and hurry our way down. Now, right here on the left, there is a food service available there. We wouldn't eat there because we had the other arrangements set up. But uh, you could get uh, burgers and things like that, quick food there. Uh, it's called the Cookhouse Restaurant. Everything in this port area is accessible. Like I said, the summit with the manual wheelchair is a little bit rougher, but all of it is easily accessible uh, with a power chair and it's accessible in a, in a wheelchair. We're going through and looking at the museum. And I'm gonna let you watch for a while and listen to the museum. You'll get a good idea of all the things that are here. As we've exited the gift shop area and the museum, one of the things I would say is that all of the things that are for sale inside the museum complex are native uh, crafts. They're not, there's no made in Japan things in there. It's all uh, things that people make here on the island or over on the mainland. We're going into the Crab House restaurant. This uh, reportedly has the uh, some of the best crab legs in Alaska. Uh, an experienced tour guide that I interviewed said that these uh, the crab here was actually better than what you got at Tracy's Crab Shack in Juneau. Now I didn't compare them, so I can't say that, but he was an individual that uh, guided in Alaska for many years, has been to Icy Strait Point in Juneau many times, and that was his statement. So this is the uh, where you would order. It, it's pretty simplistic. They sell crab and there's a menu right there you can see the gentleman looking at it and the, the building's rustic like pretty much everything on icy straight point now we actually like icy straight point i hear some people say that they didn't like it there wasn't anything to do we had a good time my previous trip my granddaughter and i went uh, halibut fishing uh, i said fishing not catching but again it was a beautiful day even out uh, halibut fishing we saw whales uh, this trip we got to see uh, quite a few whales. There's another video. I'll put a card up above for that. And uh, again, it was just a gorgeous day to be out here on the island.
if you look down and your subscribe button is red, you can click my face in the left corner there and that'll subscribe you to the channel. And on the right, there's a playlist of other videos from Alaska I think you'll enjoy. We'll see everybody in the next video. Thanks for watching.